Hello, this is Raimund von Helden speaking from Germany. I will give you, you the English text to a German series of uh, medical analytics to the coronavirus. So, can we make the defense with vitamin D against the coronavirus? This question we will have in this lesson. Um, from Wuhan, China, uh, the ships are uh, going around the world and like uh, uh, bombs in the water, the virus um, is a danger for China. This is a comic-like uh, scene, but there is uh, a way out and I will tell you how it works. This lesson is free of making panic, no um, biological uh, drama, it's not a financial crash I want to advertise, it's simply medical information. So is vitamin D good or bad for the patient with the corona uh, virus? This is the question of Henry Lahore, he has the English speaking uh, website vitamindwiki.com will increase vitamin D uh, uh, the coronavirus. Um, this is me, Raimund von Helden. I have the German speaking vitamin D service. So, um, hello to Henry in USA. Um, this is my uh, homepage. Uh, you see the top uh, um, articles and um, there's some traffic on this site. We must clear this question. Which power has the coronavirus? So you see that about 40,000 patients uh, nowadays uh, are ill and uh, two of them uh, uh, will or have been dying and uh, this means that 89% have a good defense and they will survive. So uh, what uh, is the mistake which uh, we doctors made that we don't save all 100%? Uh, what's going wrong, wrong in these 2%? This is uh, a statistical approach. You know these uh, from the World Health Organization. And uh, if we uh, follow this line, it is uh, fitted by a logarithmic uh, value, uh, but nobody knows how it will uh, work. And um, also, uh, we don't know whether the data are so clear. Um, I wonder whether uh, they have a hundred thousand of test systems with the PCR. Uh, this is uh, rather expensive and not uh, yet produced. It's, uh, it's um, not so easy. The coronavirus is not um, um, overpowered and we have still some work with it. This, uh, um, code Corona uh, means the uh, envelope proteins enveloped virus and this is uh, very essential in, in the medical approach. You know the Corona is the crown of the king and queen and also this virus has a crown but the sun also has a crown, a Corona and uh, this will be the setting of the discussion we will uh, have uh, now. Um, is uh, the, uh, the item new um, that vitamin D is offensive and helps us to defend virus? So uh, William Grant from San Francisco uh, made this uh, work, this review, and uh, all every green hook shows us there has been a confirmation against virus like influenza, herpes, uh, human immunodeficiency virus, and mononucleosis. 
um, uh, if you are living in the cellar, that's not healthy. If you go to holidays, that will be healthy. And this is the vitamin D uh, message. And um, a German um, ministry says there is no specific therapy. All world tells this, but um, realize uh, from the beginning of mankind, uh, man has been fighting against virus. You see here these uh, um, uh, violet uh, uh, circles around the vitamin D. And you see that all um, uh, virus attacks are have a defense in the vitamin D system. And uh, this could be uh, an approach. Can we save the world from the coronavirus? Um, uh, 20 milligrams of vitamin D makes this jump from 10 to 90 uh, in a, a normal patient. And uh, this will uh, possibly risk you and make him like vaccination fit to, to um, defend the virus. Um, if we look on the Google website pictures, uh, these uh, are the only one seen in Germany. So nobody knows, but uh, science knows. The use of vitamin D, uh, the good use is known and can save your life. This is uh, the start uh, of this, what, what is coming now. Uh, the uh, items of the coronavirus first, the defici deficiency the second, the use the third point, and um, what I recommend, it's point number four. So some logical, uh, logic uh, um, minutes will follow um, the items of the coronavirus. Uh, we start with the question, why do uh, people die from the virus? So uh, the severe acute respiratory syndrome, you, uh, you see here a normal lung, which is transparent and the green circle. But the red ones with a ill patient shows uh, the x-rays don't go through. You have uh, some water in the, in the rays and this means over flooding of the lungs. And this is uh, also in the acute respiratory distress syndrome. I know this for 30 years. Uh, uh, every mm, doctor who has been working on the intensive care unit knows what it is. It's, uh, oftenly the patient dies when this situation is uh, reached, the, the shock lung also is, it is called. And uh, here you have three acronyms, uh, uh, all with respiratory and also the Middle East Respiratory Syndrome this is also a coronavirus uh, uh, caused uh, disease. Uh, even the machine uh, respiration in the intensive care uh, will not help in some cases. Respiratory, that is uh, what the coronavirus makes and uh, they set the lungs underwater. How? Uh, does the virus get into the body? So uh, normally uh, uh, there is uh, no entrance and uh, here the coronavirus here in green logo has a key uh, to get uh, the, the door key to turn it around and um, uh, this model uh, fits to the signs uh, the coronavirus uses a key which is already there on your cells. And what do you know uh, uh, about this? So Jesus uh, gives the answer. That's to say Erin Garcia de Jesus. Uh, she tells in the science news that is the same uh, uh, cellular lock uh, which is used to infect cells. And um, uh, we have uh, this ACE2 uh, protein, and uh, this will 
uh, afterwards uh, open your eyes why this is so dangerous uh, that the virus uses this. And um, this is the uh, publication paper which is behind uh, the uh, Jesus uh, article because um, the Chinese uh, Collegius uh, wrote it already. Uh, the ACE2 receptor is uh, the name of the position where the uh, virus goes and he uses a spike protein. And uh, this uh, ACE receptor is uh, also in these animals uh, to be seen, um, bats and uh, pigs. And this means also these, uh, peop um, these animals can uh, have the virus and transmit it all, uh, to the people. And so uh, this, mean this means they will uh, reserve it uh, for new infection all the time. So coronavirus uh, cannot be um, um, made distinguish. SARS and Corona get our um, apartment key and the key code uh, is ACE2. And uh, so let's make the question, is there any other key? for the uh, um, apartment. So uh, this is the question uh, which is made in Rochester, Massachusetts. Uh, and they uh, started some laboratory tests uh, with the spike protein going to the ACE and they inhibited it with the um, AB, that means a, a monoclonal antibody. Uh, which covers the ACE and so the S protein could not connect. And uh, this uh, right uh, photo shows uh, normal cells without any harm, but on the left side you uh, see the bubbles uh, showing uh, that the virus uh, has uh, get into and makes deformations. Um, the skulls are um, for comic. So ACE2 is the place uh, where the, identif the in infection starts and um, uh, they also made the test on the ACE1 receptor and this does not work. So uh, only the ACE2 um, is the place. Uh, all coronavirus use this ACE2 uh, key of the cells with their spike protein. So, uh, would this be a good idea to get rid of all ACE2 receptors and the virus kit, uh, cannot enter the, the body? We, this will not a good idea because we use this and we need it every minute of our day. Um, here you see the angiotensin 1 that uh, uh, is for blood pressure and this is a, a um, molecule with 8 amino acids and uh, the, the first and the last are cut off like the, the hot dog you see. Uh, the, this hot dog right side has only six uh, amino acids and it's cut it so it's activated. It makes a better smell so to say. And uh, this is uh, what the ACE1 receptor does with the angiotensin which is needed to get uh, 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 blood pressure. And the ACE2, which is uh, the coronavirus uh, uh, adapter, um, this makes a, a further step. Uh, the uh, six amino acids, angiotensin 2, is uh, cut once more into some um, other uh, a group of uh, angiotensins, which are called uh, three to seven. So it's, uh, um, it makes uh, some confetti of this. And so you have different um, molecules. So here you see what uh, ACE2 does. It makes from the highly active angiotensin 2 uh, inactive uh, con confetti and uh, the angiotensin 1 um, uh, makes uh, some uh, uh, activation. 
you need uh, also renin to make the first step from the angiotensin to angiotensin 1 and 2. Um, the fingers you see here uh, uh, show the name. This is angiotensin 1, showing one finger, angiotensin 2, two fingers and, and some more. And uh, this is the way it works, so it's also useful for medical students uh, going to the exam. Um, it's uh, like uh, in, in your sport car, um, the first you get from first gear to the second, uh, you needed uh, the uh, a ACE1 and to slow down and the to go backward you need ACE2 and uh, so ACE1 um, makes the blood pressure rise and ACE2 makes it go down. So it's ACE2 is essentially needed for the limitation of the blood pressure. And so why will it kill by a lung, lung injury, uh, as we have seen in our colleague in Wuhan who, in, um, who died from this uh, terrible disease. Uh, so this is the, the normal physiology, uh, showing the blood pressure with a red balloon. And um, so uh, angiotensin 2, two fingers is um, set up and also angiotensin 2 uh, takes it away. So it's a steady state. And then the massive invasion of the aliens coronavirus get to this receptor and block it. And so 81 with one finger up cannot adapt. It's uh, like uh, you get too late to the parking places and all are, are um, uh, uh, blocked and you don't get your parking place and nothing can be done. You cannot open your doors. You have to circle around. And this uh, situation is also here. Um, uh, you see uh, the virus has uh, captured the AC2 and so the, the production of AC1 goes on and the blood, blood pressure rises. And uh, this high pressure in the lung uh, will also cause some water and this is the water fl flowing out and this is the respiratory syndrome. And in this situation you have a devil circle, um, circulus viciosus. So uh, if you get uh, not enough of oxygen in your lung, you get stress and the blood pressure easily rises to 240 and higher. And this additional blood pressure made by angiotensin 1 uh, can uh, not be stopped. So uh, very dramatically you get the lung edema and uh, the only what the body knows to react is to, to rise the blood pressure and this uh, causes the, the sudden death uh, in time of uh, uh, maybe one hour. And uh, these uh, cannot get, get out because ACE2 is very essential to uh, slow down the blood pressure. This is the way uh, all these lung syndromas uh, make this fatal outcome. And um, so uh, the question is, isn't there an, another alternative regulation of the blood pressure? Why is it so essential, this angiotensin 1? So it must be some other systems is the question. So we have um, uh, a kind of uh, love connection. The angiotensin 1 enzyme loves the angiotensin 1. They are affine to, another, to each other and they want to meet and uh, to react. And uh, these fingers, uh, remember to this uh, Michelangelo picture in Rome, um, they try to come near, but don't have reached yet. Uh, the snake goes uh, uh, between, it's like a devil, um, and bites into the finger. And uh, this is what I mean with uh, the 
virus going on, uh, on this uh, receptor and uh, the, uh, the snake also has a similar um, method. It uses uh, ACE blocking uh, and um, a protein and uh, this is the ECE blocker and uh, this ACE angiotensin um, uh, enzyme blocking this is a very good known uh, all the medicine captopril, enalapril, always ending and pril. Uh, they block it, and so uh, the snake kills the mouse because uh, the blood pressure goes down to zero, and the mouse is dead. And uh, this means uh, complete blocking of the ACE1. Uh, um, remember the model. Um, um, makes it impossible to rise the blood pressure and this means death. So um, a medical advice, if you're a patient taking uh, some ACE blocker, uh, go, go ahead. Um, if they are not uh, in a, um, a toxic dose, you will have a profit from this. It's a rather good biological medicine and uh, go on using it. So the question is, uh, are, could there be some medicine protect the ACE2 so that the, the lung edema will not occur? So this is the question the colleagues in the Columbia University had already. So here they have the, the same model. This is the ACE2 protein and the spike from the virus. They uh, um, hand to hand, want to sh make shake hands, uh, like here in my key model, and um, they uh, had a substance uh, with a cryptical name double S double A, and um, this uh, was uh, given into the vitro uh, examination, and uh, really uh, for some hours. Uh, the cellular activity um, uh, driven by the receptor was blocked. So um, there are some substances which can block the ACE2 that could be um, um, have some use, uh, but only for three hours. So after the connecting uh, of the key, uh, what does the coronavirus make? So answer comes from Krakow, Pol, um, Pol, uh, Polska, and um, we have the clatrine mechanism. This is well known, Wikipedia, like a bowl. Uh, this protein forms uh, the endocytosis and uh, after this the virus can enter into it. So after the connection, this is not all, uh, the virus enters the cell. Clatrine helps the coronavirus to go in the cell. So it's not catch catherine, but clatherine. Um, see this L letter. So take home uh, uh, from the first part, the damage um, of the coronavirus is because the ACE blocking uh, makes uh, the um, uh, the uh, degradation of um, angiotensin impossible. The uh, blood pressure rises in the lungs, and this uh, leads to edema and death. Second part of four: What has vitamin D deficiency to do with virus? So we have a. Uh, um, study from Tasmania, uh, some patients with uh, 60 nanograms of vitamin D um, have uh, a high level of uh, respiratory infections and then got 20,000 units a week and the uh, rate of um, infections was halved. So less um, uh, infections with vitamin D uh, this is empirical data. Uh, data from Norway, Joan Mohan, 
he showed the vitamin D level rises in the summer, you know this, and uh, in wintertime influenza goes up. And um, 24 nanograms, this is uh, the level you need not to die from influenza. And um, this is also advice that uh, respiratory disease, uh, even with influenza, it's also an enveloped virus, is uh, dependent on the vitamin D system. Uh, uh, Chinese children with an age of uh, one or two years have uh, vitamin D deficiency. The, um, the level below 12 was seen in 65%. So it's a dramatical situation. And uh, imagine all the towns and the um, factories, um, they are very busy and um, uh, this means also low vitamin D levels. Uh, take home uh, about vitamin D deficiency. Uh, the deficiency is responsible for influenza and uh, uh, respiratory disease. It is widespread in China. In Germany, we have uh, more than 50% in this dangerous zone in the wintertime. Point three. The use of vitamin D against coronavirus. So, uh, what have coronavirus to do with ACE uh, system? So, that means uh, angiotensin converting enzyme. See the uh, um, paper which. Uh, Mr. Chan Jun Li from Chicago, USA, uh, wrote uh, in the Vitamin D of David Feldman. It's a thick book of 2,500 pages. Um, and uh, you see the situation without vitamin D uh, green. So uh, much uh, ren pro-renin is uh, synthesized. Um, so the blood pressure rises in the wintertime. Then uh, summer comes uh, and with activity, um, sports and uh, others, vitamin D gets active. You see this uh, 125 hydroxy uh, vitamin D. And this uh, active vitamin D is able to connect to, to the vitamin D receptor. And uh, this way it blocks the uh, prorenin synthesis and that uh, means the blood pressure uh, lowers. If you are in holidays, if you have a free day, you uh, can lower your blood pressure. That is the, the message. And here the um, uh, cycle, um, that is a result of years of uh, scientific uh, work. So uh, the block is set uh, from the renin gene to the renin production with vitamin D analogs. So not uh, high pressure, blood pressure needed if you are a natural um, guy and uh, have your sunshine. So also the uh, renin in blood rises in this case, and these are mice without receptor. So you can, you know, the knockout mice and, and they have the vita, vitamin D receptor knockout. They uh, uh, living without the possibility to to uh, have an effect on active vitamin D and so they have a high renin production. So that uh, shows um, there is a relationship between vitamin D and uh, the um, ACE and the uh, regulation. Also, um, more act uh, vitamin D active uh, means less uh, blood pressure and vice versa. It calms down, it alleviates the blood pressure. Can vitamin D help uh, lung in the respiratory stress or sh shock lung syndrome? Um, so, uh, the colleagues in China did a very good work. Um, active 
vitamin D alleviates really uh, acute lung injury via regulation of the renin angiotensin system. So you know uh, this, uh, you have seen just before that it has an effect on the, the vitamin D on the angiotensin system and this is, has a good effect on the patient at risk and in at problems. So um, this is uh, the uh, setting of a uh, mouse experiment. Um, uh, you see the production of uh, the blood rising um, proteins and uh, this is without uh, a placebo effect. Here uh, a coli poison is given uh, lipopolysaccharide uh, from again from uh, Escherichia coli and this is only given vitamin D and if you give uh, the the uh, toxin from bacteries together with some vitamin D that means five, five nanomoles um, you have even an elevation effect and if you give more and more uh, the effect of the toxin is reduced so um, active vitamin D can help the lung to survive this attack. Um, yes, uh, uh, there is a causal therapy uh, against this ARDS, so vitamin D is shown to be effective. And uh, this small picture uh, puts it together. So you have ACE1 with one finger, ACE2, and the, en the one enzyme um, sets it up and the other sets it down. You go ahead and you go back. And um, all these proteins needed um, are um, regulated by vitamin D, so it is a big help and uh, vitamin, um, vitamin D can have an effect on the uh, uh, fluid lung and the uh, transparency of the lung um, uh, and uh, injury and you can read it in English also you get also the, the PDF from my homepage. So vitamin D helps in many positions this is the English text the German um, a good help um, in the acute situation and also in the chronic situation. Uh, you see fibrosis. This uh, is also a um, um, thing which can be altered with the vitamin D. Um, so ACE2 um, can be helped by vitamin D. Um, do you have less risk with a higher vitamin D level? Yes, it is. Uh, Egypt, uh, um, children were examined and the uh, healthy uh, children had a vitamin D level of 35 nanograms per milliliter and the ill have only 15. And uh, synchronous, uh, the cathelicidine uh, helping system was uh, much better better in, in the healthy children than in the ill ones. And um, other further um, uh, advice uh, for the use, uh, how good is this ketelicidine? So um, uh, this uh, Changsha, China uh, study shows that the pneumonia was six times uh, higher um, if uh, the vitamin D level was below 30. So that is uh, the, the risk factor um, and uh, everyone should have a vitamin D level about this and I even say root 66, get it to 66 and more. And um, a British uh, um, paper from Martineau uh, shows also that the LL37 uh, has a good antiviral activity 
um, and this is a synonymous from for the Catholicidine and uh, also from Scotland we have um, the paper of Guire Finlay that Defensine it's a, a sister substance from Catholicidine uh, works against herpes of influenza, coronavirus, uh, HIV, uh, and uh, all the enveloped virus are attacked from the body by defensine and catelicidine. Here you see them, uh, left side catelicidine and right side the protein is defensine. These are virus blockers and also um, are able to kill bacteria because they go into their membranes and uh, uh, scratch them and uh, they, they cannot uh, defense. They have no spe specific defense and um, they are stronger than antibiotics because um, there's uh, no resistance known at all. Uh, from Harvard University, Boston, USA, you have uh, these papers, uh, they gave um, um, vitamin D 400,000 units and uh, the vitamin D level rises uh, plus 15 points. So before you have 10 and afterwards you have 25, for example. And uh, synchronous, the cathelicidine rises and they make uh, also a um, significance test and uh, showed this uh, was a, a significant relation. And uh, this is only a simple photo because uh, there's no um, uh, photo in the, in the paper itself. So you know what it means uh, that the um, vitamin D uh, and carcilicidine uh, rising is synchronous. And um, this works and also Srati has shown this from New York, USA, um, that uh, Defensine even eight hours after the virus um, entering, these uh, substances uh, can be help and can stop the infection. So uh, they are very efficient um, um, uh, therapy of the body itself. So um, this uh, paper uh, it's a model with a mouse infection and uh, uh, so uh, they uh, were protected by human defensines. Here uh, you see the take-home message of part 3 uh, about the uh, use of vitamin D. At, uh, you have a own virus blocker C and D but it only works when you have a level about 30. Let's say better is to have a, a 66, 200. Go your route 66 and you will be happy. Um, and uh, this uh, works against the angiotensin uh, 1, which uh, rises the blood pressure and causes lung edema. And so you have two uh, different... Um, working mechanisms. Uh, one is uh, directly against virus and the other is against uh, lung edema. This is the the message and um, uh, this is protection. This is not uh, pro with uh, 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 um, become accompanied by problems because tropical normal values in the, are in this range. So uh, people living uh, in nature in these tropical countries uh, simply, uh, only have these values and stay healthy. And um, the way to this, uh, how to find your personal uh, dose, use the vitamin D simulator and um, Let's have a look back. The vitamin D is working in all the cells. The spike protein uh, goes uh, absolutely 
um, specific about the ACE2 receptor and this uh, makes the virus so bad it this uh, damage from on this ACE2 receptor causes the lung edema what you see here because uh, the blood pressure is rising uh, if you have lung problems and the body is not able to lower it and the ACE inhibitors um, show how uh, strong these uh, systems are Chinese children are at risk vitamin D helps in several ways and the cathelicidine and diffenzine um, will um, help you to uh, have to win your struggle against the virus and see uh, 98 percent uh, of the infected people survive because they have some vitamin d who helps and if you uh, want to be in this 98 percent take your vitamin d level uh, on the high value take home uh, what uh, the four lessons uh, showed you and this is my last book about the vitamin D activation so uh, vitamin D simply um, taken from a pill is uh, the first step you have to activate it uh, uh, for example with sports with cold water with the right diet and this is uh, the uh, lifestyle which uh, causes more or less activation this book um, will be in uh, on the kindle uh, amazon shop and also with um, paperback uh, starting in some days the 18th of february um, so have a good luck and be healthy stay healthy this is Raimund von Helden from the vitamin D service dot de from Germany. Goodbye.